In Star Citizen, most game packages only give you $1,000 starting money, with an extra 5,000 bucks if you use my referral code when you buy the game, code STARP7MNK43K. But with guns costing a few thousand dollars, an undersuit and some armor costing a few thousand more, you really only can afford one gear set when you start out. And if you're still new and learning the game, dying and losing that kit is probably inevitable and can make it a lot harder to advance and make more money in game. I'm going to teach you a trick on how to loot an infinite amount of rare guns, armor, meds and tools without ever needing to fire a gun yourself. Guaranteed. A trick that every Star Citizen Pro knows, but rarely shares with others. And you're going to find out why soon. My name's Dead Leader, and this is how you farm easy loot in Star Citizen. It's free real estate. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to farm loot in Star Citizen. Now, you don't need to be taking a giant parrot with you wherever you go, but we will be walking away with a lot of loot, let's just say that. So, if you're in something that has, you know, one or two SCUs of cargo space, that's not going to do any good. You need something a little bit more, not this big necessarily, but, you know, bigger than a fighter or something. Um, and something also that can make it across the verse well, has a QT uh, drive that's powerful enough to get you sort of all the way around because we're going to be going from Crusader where we are at the moment to area 18 and then to Microtech finally and I like to do it with the carrot because the amount of gear and guns you can get yeah, is always good to stock out the armory on the lower level of this thing I like it. it looks pretty when it's all full of guns and you can see the first stop where we're going to is Bountiful Harvest Hy Hydroponics on Daymar. So essentially this is a loot farm because literally all this free loot is at farms on different planets. It is 100% unprotected loot. You don't need a weapon to get any of this. Uh, you, probably, you probably need like a uh, something so you can breathe in the atmosphere, but these places uh, don't have any NPCs, there's no one to kill, um, except for the fact that they aren't armistice zones. So if there's another player here or someone that can come up and they could kill you, so no. I, you know, I, I don't bother with really locking the ship or anything <laughs> when I'm doing this. I usually don't ever come across someone, and if you do, you can see them on your radar. Um, it's very rare I usually see someone else in there. It depends how popular this video is, you know. There's a lot of views on this, then maybe there might be some people of these. But you want to go to this place here, these farms, they, they always look like this sort of uh, orange building. And you just want to head inside up here, and there's going to be four rooms that you can go through to look for um, you know, red crates and green crates and the like. And they'll be in different spots sometimes, but usually they'll be about, you know, if you're lucky, you get like five red crates that run like this. So we got one here. Oh, look at that. There's four guns immediately. And then here's another one. There's another two guns, oh, sorry, three, three guns. So then I went an undersuit. So, like, <laughs> the starting money you get in the game, that would probably cost more than the starting money you'd already be getting. So we're already in profit. Here you go. This one's got all the health stuff you might need. And you just go check behind this room here. There's another one. There you go. Another two guns. There used to be some one on top of that um, deposit machine, but I don't think they stopped doing that. <laughs> uh, yeah, here there will be one here sometimes, it, but often there's not any. There goes uh, the two guns. And I always check behind there. I think there used to be one, but now I, I always check out of uh, instinct. And in here, there's usually there's usually one down by the door uh, to the left where we come in, or to the right, just there, there, the machine. There could be one sometimes, but there's none here this time. All right. So that's the first one on Dema. Just 
just get back into the carrick and this is what we got out of there so thank god to 318 we can just literally move all and it's all in the carrick all right it's the next one gallet family farms this is on seven i believe it's coming down now and so when you do this i like to there's about four of these farms um and when you go around and kind of do these and collect them all up sometimes by the time you've done it they could have potentially respawned in again so you could do the entire loop again if you sort of take your time or you could always uh server hop and log off and log back on and try on another server and see if they've got um fresh loot in those ones a little bit of loot there you go tiger's claws sniper rifle sniper rifles health back in the ship a lot of people will tell you that the best way to get armor and guns and stuff in this game is to go to bunkers and do bunkers but if you're gonna do bunkers you're gonna need guns and armor and stuff and <laughs> the starting amount of money you have in this game Usually you'd spend all that money with like your first kid. So having like, if you kind of lose all your gear and you're kind of feeling disheartened, you don't have any money. If you just do one of these runs, you can always get enough stuff just to go and go back in and get your stuff back or go get more stuff from bunkers. Like the majority of ways out there to get loot in this game are all about, um, you know, just go to bunkers and killing people, but you need loot to do that. So this one's spot here, uh, this the hydroponics place. This actually is one that says it's a farm, but doesn't isn't a farm. It's a different type of one. It doesn't have any of the guns and loot and stuff. So if you see that one, it's the wrong one. But it's it's a good opportunity here to to stop off, pick up some extra food and stuff in the white crates, and also if you're flying a carrick, to park the Pisces and a Anosa Rover. Shady Glen Farms and Area 18s. So we're gonna head over there now. This is actually the first one where I first discovered these weapons in here i was like what <laughs> why is why are there just straight up weapons and good stuff in these ones it's over here when i figured it out and i realized that most planets have a a farm location on them and so i looked into it more and realized they were all the same building they all just had free freaking loot in them get a little bit of loot get a bunch of type clubs get a bunch of health get a bunch of health get a bunch of guns Chuck it in a carrick. Uh, at this point, I'm getting cocky. I wanted to do the 890 jump mission uh, to get some of my the stitcher armor, which is what I like to use for my dead, but me is dead leader. It's my favorite stuff. But then I realized I'm flying the carrick solo, so I don't have any power control weapons, but that's not an issue for good old buddy old pal dead leader. You just fire a couple flares and note some chaff just to kind of get me off the radar for a second. I'm just gonna go upstairs and jump on the gun seat. Should be able to take him out relatively easily. And I've got a good enough shield on this then. We got energy weapons then getting in here. Boom! Boom. Soft death. Alright. So this mission's changed a fair bit actually, but if you want to see how to do this one, I've got another video on it. But this is only six hostels here at the moment. Um where there was like 15 I think previously, but if you check out my video here, it'll show you how to just farm this mission. I, I had a little problem here where for some reason the med gun me trying to pick up things that just crashed the game. <laughs> so um at this point I had lost the carrick filled with <laughs> all the loot I got. And I was pretty annoyed because that run was pretty uh was pretty fruitful for the video. But I decided to keep going on. I, I went back to try and find if the carrick was there, you know, the peasant and all that, but I think I got into a different shard, so it wasn't there. And I think uh, someone else would have had a good payday if they came across it. Uh, and here's the last place uh, on Microtech Bud's Growery. Flown this one, and it is the last one out of these uh, farms. Um, has the same sort of layout and weapons. Uh, you could say I got the 
the school piece in the same paint, red alert paint as the the Carrick. So it's essentially the same ship. Not exactly the same amount of cargo space, but actually the school piece has a sort of surprisingly good cargo. It's two little storage um, units on each side and this really good gun rack that comes out in the center. I recommend it. So of course, same as usual. Run, run, run. And load, load, load. This was particularly good haul here. So yeah, that is my tips for the best way to farm loot and for the best start in 318, or of any wipe really. Like running to all these places to clear out those red boxes are gonna get your arsenal just filled to the brim with gear. So once again, my name's Dead Leader, and I'll see you out in the verse. Your ass just filled to the brim. Space. It's cold and it's lonely. But you don't need to be with Dead Leader Merchandise. Merchandising. With Dead Leader Merch, you can represent Star Citizen without looking like a dog. Merchandising. Everyone will think it's for some sick band, and if they ask what Dead Leader is, you can just say, you probably wouldn't know them, and they'll think you're sick. Merchandising. So grab your Dead Leader merch today and support your favorite content creator. Me, Dead Leader. Merchandising.